Big bluegills can be among the fussiest of fish. With their exceptional microvision, they can discriminate details that would never play a role in catching other panfish. Recent introductions of microplastics that imitate various tiny critters that bluegills feed on allow anglers to play the presentation game like never before. Finally, Here's a microplastics plan oh, for panfish. Just, just clobbered it. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. Look at Ooh. that one. Boy, when he finally committed, he just ate that Northland, uh, this is a, that slug bug actually they make. Got him to chase about two feet off the bottom. We're out here on a bluegill run. And uh, these are some beautiful fish. We're out using plastics today, some heavier jig heads, and we're just gonna experiment with all kinds of different plastics and, uh, and see what we end up with. This is a beautiful fish right here. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get him back. Oh, look at that guy. Let him go back. Boy, I tell you what, you know, these little soft plastics nowadays, they've been around for quite a few years actually, but um, you know, they're getting better and better every year, whether you're using a bait from Northland like this one here or the custom jigs and spin stuff. And I think, you know, the real key to a bait like this is this little tiny, uh, little wispy tail. Ooh, I got another one on the screen here. I gotta get back down and get one more here. Ooh, there's one, Corey. Right. <laughs> Whoa. Man, they're really, I've really got this drag set light because it's a very light line. I'm letting him run, I'm letting him take some line here. Man. Whoa, what a horse. Look at this guy. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, these big bluegills, I, I have noticed ever since they came out with these little plastics. Let's put this big girl right back. There you go. And the key is the constant motion of these little tails. They just keep flapping away and jigging away. Even the, uh, just the wind and the breeze hitting your little spring bobber or the light little rod tip will keep that thing bobbing away. These little bros bloodworms from Northland are an example. The munchies tiny, this is a munchies tiny tail with a long thin tapering tail, a little bit different shape. The slug bug that Corey was using, here's a more natural color that I like in the clearer water and the uh, Custom Jigs and Spins makes the little ratso, the little ratso tail. You can see that long, thin, tapering tail. Anything that's in that uh, quarter inch size up to about a half inch, that's perfect. A lot of these longer tails I'll cut back to make them a little bit shorter for bluegills, but the key is that thin, tapering tail and that constant motion just keep, keeps moving and fluttering down there, and that's the trigger. Here's my jig right here, and we've got a pretty nice fish, probably I'm presuming a bluegill, right tight to the bottom. I'm just gonna try and keep it, keep it away from him. He's, he's right on the jig now. And there you go, and there he smacked it. Feels like a pretty nice fish here. I'm gonna take it easy on him, just in case he's a, one of those big pounders. That's a pretty decent one. Not a monster, but uh, not a bad fish at all. That's uh, That guy hit one of these little, real rock heavy jig heads. This happens to be a, a, a custom jigs and spins a gill pill. So we're just going to take this out of here. He just, boy, that was neat. He came right up, and as soon as they actually do commit, they're hitting pretty nice. But you got to find that right presentation, that right action, to get them to take it. I'll put this guy back. Nice fish. <laughs> this is one of those custom jigs and spins gill pills, as I was saying, and it's and it's part of this uh, this category of heavy compact jigs that fishes really well. You can obviously, I've got a, a little plastic tail tipped on here, but you can fish it with live bait. Um, or just with a straight plastic, um, or in a combination of plastic and live bait. But the key to this thing is, again, it's a little, uh, it's a big jig head. This is probably about, oh, I suppose a, uh, about a 64 ounce head, uh, and then a small hook, but it fishes on light line. Now this is three pound test, or you can use two pound test, but you can get down really quickly. It shows up extremely well on, the, on a depth finder, and Again, it fishes almost like a rock. You can feel it down there, thump, 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 thump. So the bite detection is very good with this bait. And get right back down there quick and catch another one. That thing will get down there real fast. <laughs>